Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. If you are not new, thank you so much for coming back again. So today we're going to be taking a look at my current favorites. I don't think I'm ever gonna get to a point where I do a monthly favorites. I will do like maybe quarterly favorites, things I'm feeling. This is going to be my first favorites video. I hope you do enjoy. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. I mean, if you've been watching the videos, you might as well already go ahead and subscribe because you want to be part of the fam. With that being said, don't forget to like the video as well. It does help to get the word out there, to spread my content so other people can enjoy what you're enjoying. Let's spread the love. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's get into the video. So the first product we're actually going to talk about is my coconut oil. <laughs> so this is the Viva Naturals Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil, 100% pure, cold pressed, and unrefined. I've been using this brand of coconut oil for four years now. I get mine on Amazon. I don't buy it in store. And the reason why, I know some people are like, okay, well, what's the difference? It's just coconut oil. That is not true. You want to make sure your coconut oil is 100% coconut oil, not with mixed in with petroleum jelly or any of that other stuff. So please read the ingredients. It literally needs to say 100% coconut oil. I absolutely love this. You can cook with it. You can bake with it. It's good for skincare, hair care. This is what I use to moisturize my skin. I add it in... Um, onto my face sometimes and I use it a lot in my hair care routine for deep conditioning and things like that. It's actually on auto order. It smells so good too. This one's um, is about to be empty. I need to get another one. It usually lasts me about two and a half months maybe. Viva Naturals. I will link it down below and you can get this on Amazon. So the next product I'm going to talk about is actually the simple sensitive skin expert foaming cleanser so i ran out of my my first day beauty uh deep cleansing red clay um face wash i, I needed something for everyday use it shouldn't be anything more than five bucks but i did i get this one on amazon or did i get this in store no i got this on amazon as well i buy virtually everything online but it lasts a really long time. It's a very gentle cleanser. This is not the kind of cleanser you will use when you're trying to take off like this amount of makeup. You don't do that, please. You're just wasting your time. <laughs> this is not going to do it. Nice, clean, light scent, you know, gentle foaming, doesn't irritate your eyes. Great, love it, perfect. Ooh, this I picked up at CVS. Yeah, this is the CVS brand. This is their charcoal and black sugar dual action scrub and facial mask. It purifies and exfoliates the skin and it's for all skin types. I really, really like this. And the reason why I really like this is because even though it's like a cleansing scrub, it kind of leaves your face feeling like moisturized. It can feel kind of rough on the skin, I'm not going to lie. If you've ever used the, the St. Ives Apricot Face Scrub, it's actually rougher than that. It's rougher than the St. Ives Apricot Face Scrub. So just for like comparison of drugstore stuff, this thing is going to just make me go broke. I have to just admit it because this stuff really works. So this is the O'Hare, Ol, I can never say this freaking name, Ol Henriken. Ol Henriksen. Rickson. Ol Henriksen. This is the Ol Henriksen. <laughs> this is the Ol Henriksen Truth Serum. It's a collagen boosted True C complex. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to help your skin be more vibrant, more radiant, and it's supposed to target like hyperpigmentation, dark spots uneven skin tone it's supposed to help just make your skin tone even more fresh make you look flawless and radiant and i have to say since i started using this i have seen a de decrease in my hyperpigmentation which is why i feel like this is definitely working the only thing is it's just so expensive and i just oh i wish i could keep getting free testers for life you know what i feel like when i first tried it it smelled like flagyl 
If you're Nigerian and you know what flagell is, please comment down below. I felt like it smelled like a an orange flavored flagell. It's not a it's not a bad smell, but it really did smell like flagell to me the first time I tried it. My favorite foundations over the last maybe three-ish weeks is the Fenty foundations, but I think I finally found something that is going to give Fenty a run for their money. God knows I have to have to mix these two shades in order to come up with my perfect shade for my skin tone. And this is shade 410 and shade 490. I look hella orange in 440, in 450, in 460, 480. Like this is the only one that's like cool enough and gives me enough boosted pigment. Then this is something I feel like I have to throw into the favorites in terms of foundations. It's the new Huda Beauty foundation, um, their full filter foundation. The Huda Beauty foundation, I am able to shade match myself and buy one shade, not two, to make one, one shade. I like the fact that all I need to do is buy one shade. And the reason why is because they spent enough time working on diversifying the undertones of their line. So this, I mean, I obviously I need to give it some more time, but right now this is definitely going in my favorites just for that. Uh, I am wearing the Huda Beauty foundation right now, actually. Um, if you watch my last video, uh, which I will link here, you'll be able to see my review on the foundation there. Next product concealer so what i was doing with my fenty foundation was actually mixing these two to get my all over face shade and then going in with the lighter shade 410 and using this as a concealer one benefit of doing that is when you use products with the exact same consistency from the exact same line what you do is you're actually creating a very very even canvas there's continuity there's flow now in terms of my favorite powders what i've really been enjoying doing lately is mixing my laura mercier the medium deep with my favorite setting powder of all time my ben nine neutral set this is literally like a clear powder i don't care how dark you are you put this on you it's not gonna show up Okay, it's not going to show up. Well, obviously, if you pack it on, it's going to show up. But like, if you are setting your under eyes or setting your face, like you can you can use this. It's it's a trend. It's a new uh, colorless powder, a neutral set for all over face powders. I'm not wearing an all over face powder today. This is an inexpensive brand, um, and I've been using their powders for quite some time actually. I think you can get this at the drugstore, but you can also get this online. I'll try and link it down below. RK by Kisses Mineral Powder. It's fragrance free and hypoallergenic. For me, I use the shade Chestnut. Their shade range is very diverse. They have neutral undertones, they have pink undertones, beige neutral undertones. They've also got yellow undertones, olive undertones, and all in powders. And these powders are like four fifty or five bucks. Um, and you can get them at your local beauty supply store. But there, I know I have purchased this online as well. Love, love, love this. My favorite palette right now is definitely the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette. I love that the shades in here, you can do so many things with them. She has included staple shades that will allow you to do cooler toned looks or warmer toned looks. The transition shades that are in here, oh my god. This palette, not only would it work alone on its own, but it would now complement other um, eyeshadow palettes. Like if you had a palette that was just all shimmers, you could use the transition shades in here to work with that, that other palette. So this palette is definitely worth the money. I, I personally think it's worth the money. Packaging aside, the quality of the shadows are A1. They blend really, really nicely. Like, let me show you guys. Like, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, so this is a product I've kind of fallen in love with all over again. This is Max Raisin. I haven't worn this in a hot minute, and I recently started using this again. 
This blush literally goes with almost every single look. I have this is currently what I'm wearing um, as my blusher today on my cheeks. This blush is really, really nice. It, it's a deep rose with like nice, it's got some plum undertones in there, like purpley plum undertones. So it complements darker skin tones really, really well. It's a very it's a versatile shade in that way, and it's so beautiful. It looks really good on a lot of skin tones actually not just darker skin tones this looks really nice on a lot of skin tones <sighs> y'all are about to be so mad about this one <sighs> and you guys are about to laugh when you see which one it is <laughs> it's the kkw beauty ignore how like beaten up this thing is like the highlighters that's what I have on my cheeks right now. My cheeks. They're, they're unlike any other highlighters I have, which is why I think I'm so, you know, I keep gravitating towards them. There's a lot with these highlighters. However, they're so beautiful because they add sheen. Like, it makes you look, like, lit from within. It's kind of hard to explain, but it makes you look lit from within without being too overdone. It's very beautiful, very easy to work with. Really, I'm, I'm a fan of the highlighters. The powders, no, because I already told y'all I wouldn't rebuy this. However, if she sold, if, if she sold the highlighters in singles, I would purchase them again. First, let me talk about my favorite lip liner right now. This is a lip liner I've kind of fallen back in love with. This is the NYX 818 lip liner. This lip liner is absolutely perfect for deeper darker skin tones so it's more like a it's a neutral brown i'm not gonna it's a new it's a neutral it's a neutral dark brown it's not like it's not too red because you know sometimes some lip liners can start to look a little too start pulling a little too too warm and then they kind of just takes away from the look um but it does it's really it goes really well with a lot of things okay so Favorite matte red lipstick right now has to be this Tardis Lip Paint in the shade, what is this called? Cheerleader. So it's an interesting color because it's it's like a purple pinkish undertone somewhere in there. It's really beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. But this is definitely my favorite matte liquid lipstick right now. If we are talking about nude lipsticks okay there are two they're, they're not tied for sure they're not tied the first one will have to be the dose of colors more creamer please the death from the desi x katie collection i like this one because it's definitely different than any other nude i have this is um it's peach it's a peachy nude it is not in any way shape or form pink <laughs> Like, by no stretch of my imagination did I ever think I would be wearing a nude like this. And it was, it's kind of, into, for me at least, it was intimidating at first because it's just something that I'm not used to on my skin tone. I usually gravitate more towards, like, pinky nudes because I feel like they're just more flattering. However, this, paired with the NYX 818 lipstick, paired with the gloss that I'm now going to talk about, which is the Dose of Colors Over the Top Lip Gloss, is god sent this is a combo it's a combo hashtag it's a combo okay i love these together the over the top lip gloss is definitely my favorite i love it it's so pretty like can you guys see all the gold reflex in here my only problem that i have with this is the fact that you can kind of feel the gold reflex on your lips and i don't think i'm necessarily a fan of that the next item we're going to talk about is, um, this is definitely my favorite, favorite, favorite lipstick right now. This is the YSL, the Rouge Volupe Shine lipstick. So this is in the shade Beige Blouse. So what I did, so, okay, I first heard of these lipsticks from Jackie Ina. I think she had gotten the shade number, like, nine or something something nude what what's really cool about them is if you get if you decide to get the lipsticks on the ysl website you can actually have your tubes custom engraved so, yeah so i have jeremiah 2911 engraved there um and I, this is what i ha currently have on my lips right now it's lightweight 
it's very comfortable it's creamy easy to blend out um the shine is it's like a nice sheen smells absolutely phenomenal oh my god it's like an expensive fruity treat you know how there's like yogurt but then there's like noosa yogurt and then there's like ice cream but then there's talenti you know so this is like it smells like an expensive fruity snack <laughs> and the color is is a really flattering um pink tone it's, it's got a slight blue undertone and i can wear this without a lip liner which is major since we were talking about glosses before let me go back and talk about my three favorite glosses right now okay the so this one right here is from boxum this is in the shade debbie i used to be in love with the shade emily but i can't find emily anywhere this is actually a lip plumper rita your lips are already big why do you need a lip plumper because sometimes we just want a little extra pelt. This is more like, it's, just, it's like a coral shade. This is the shade Debbie. It's got pigment, but at the same time, it's still sheer enough that when you apply it onto your lips, it's not like it's gonna be like a coral mess. So what you can do, what I've been doing, is mixing this on top of other shades. So I'll wear a lipstick underneath, and then if I wanna amp it up a little bit just to you know make it look a little more vibrant. Fenty Beauty Gloss, okay. I will say that with the Fenty Gloss, honestly, like you could find something similar for a cheaper price somewhere else. It is a nice gloss, okay? I do like the Doe Foot Applicator. I love how large it is. Gets the job done nice and quickly. Smells phenomenal. And what I really like about it is how long-lasting long it is. It stays on nicely and it's got a really nice sheen. I guess that's why they called it their universal gloss because it works nicely on everybody. Um, I do have that on today. I'm wearing the Fenty gloss with the YSL Rouge Volute. This needs like a drum roll, okay? So I'm gonna insert a drum roll right now, okay? Introducing my favorite gloss. This is the Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Lacquer in the shade uh, Love Drunk. Oh my god. This is the perfect for, for darker skin tones. If, this is the perfect nude gloss. I'm swatching on my hand right now and just wishing it was on my lips. Like, do you see that color right there? Now, the, sh the color you're seeing in the tube is actually what comes out but because it's so perfectly crafted to look like your lip shade it looks like you just have on a, a really beautiful high shine gloss on your lips and that's what I really appreciate about it I know one of their most popular shades is sugar sugar and that's obviously more popular amongst white women or like really really fair women because they're because of the color of their natural lip that's what it ends up looking like and this is the equivalent of sugar sugar for our darker skin women favorite mascara this is my second tube this is the Too Faced better than sex mascara i love this mascara i barely have lashes but this it does something so it spreads them out and combs them out but then it still gives like like a little like clumpiness somewhere in there and then spreads out so it's really nice i like it if you are like me and you like to wear weaves but at the same time your hair is natural and you kind of struggle with you know dealing with heat damage and all that stuff like if you're worried about that stuff you need to get this heat protectant spray this one right here this is an anti-humidity gloss and sheen spray it's supposed to fight humidity, provides heat protection, and instantly refreshes ex for exotic, ex exotic shine. This stuff will make you flat iron your hair less, okay? It really does work, especially with the fighting humidity part. It really does work. I used to, I've been natural for six years, but really, I've only really been 100% natural for the last year and a half. Now it's really two years, so I've really only been 100% natural for the last two years because before, I was still perming my leave out. Everything else was natural, but <laughs> all of my leave out was still, you know, full of the creamy crack. But I stopped doing all of that two years ago. What I did was I did a, a wand curl set on my hair, 
but I use this anti-humidity gloss and shine and I don't get damage on my hair because of this because I switched to using this as my heat protectant I don't get damage on my hair if I do this now granted I don't flat iron my hair all the time like when I have my straight hair out I flat iron my hair like once a week you know I'm yeah once a week I think that's pretty much it for this video that was fun actually wasn't it just there just listening to me chat about stuff I like so nice to see like a community being built around YouTube now um, and even on my channel like so many different people from around the world who are you know pitching in like inputs or commenting on the videos and things like of that nature but I just want to say you know thank you to everyone and let's just keep it positive and keep things rolling if you do have any constructive criticism criticism or anything like I'm open to those things but let's just not you know be rude someone tried to be rude in one of my last videos and i was like mm -mm -mm, don't do that it's not over here no 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 we are children of god in this land if you have any suggestions of products that i need to try please please let me know in the comment sections down below don't forget to check out a few of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe on your way out i hope to see you in my next video stay blessed and stay golden